Hi guys, as usually it's me, just a voiceover, and you are watching Review Machines. Today we are going to do some stuff that I think nobody had done on YouTube before. You may have noticed that we like two topics here on the channel – off-roading and electric transport. Today we'll try to combine them together. We'll do a real off-roading on electric transport. Yes, really tough, with dirt and swamps. And our transport today is this newest 2x2 electric scooter Halton RS03. And it's going to be the hardest test for the scooter. Frankly speaking, I doubt that it will survive it. Though, we'll see. Well, Halton electric scooter. Nowadays, 2x2 scooters are becoming more and more popular because they are considered as the transport that can be used on off-roading. The main task today is to find out is it really so. It's interesting how far we'll be able to go from a good road. We'll start from asphalt, then move to an earth road, then rough terrain, and then a real off-roading. But first, let's have a closer look at it. The scooter is equipped with two motors, 1200 watts each. In this way we have here all-wheel drive and total power 2400 watts. There is lithium battery 60 volts and 24 ampere hours. The frame and all the main parts are made of aluminum. It looks solid and durable. Both wheels are equipped with hydraulic disc brakes. The handlebar is standard. There are brakes handles, light buttons, volts gauge. At the right the button to control the drive and the display that shows speed, battery status and other important info. Also, the both wheels have spring suspension. It's designed to efficiently work on a rough terrain with a rider up to 150 kilos. By the way, my weight is about 85 kilos. It's quite significant for our test. As well as many analogs, Halton has a foldable frame. Of course, you can't take this scooter in a public transport, for example. But when it's folded, it's easy to put into a trunk of a regular car. And it doesn't take much space for storage. Besides, our scooter was thoroughly prepared for our tests. There are many improvements, but the most significant it's completely waterproof now. So it's ready to race. Now, one of the most important characteristics – its weight. To weigh the scooter, firstly I measure myself. Then take the scooter on my hands and weigh it again. And now we have the result. The weight of the scooter is 38 kilos. Yes, not very light. Well, it's enough of theory, let's move to the practice. First of all, we should know, this scooter is definitely not a toy, so the protection is a must. And by the way, do not repeat what we are going to do. It might damage your scooters, cause our video is just an experiment, and of course not a normal way to use these devices. Let's start riding on a nurse road in the forest. And the first thing I noticed – it's a very brisk start. Frankly speaking, I am not greatly surprised, cause I know what such scooters can do. But if you have never tried them, you can take it from me, you will be impressed. Aggressive tires provide quite decent traction, so it's rather comfortable to ride the scooter here. I think such earth roads – the best conditions for our Halton. There might be a lot of routes on such roads. So the suspension system is necessary thing, and I should say, it works quite well. Let's see how it goes on routes. On a little hammock, suspension absorbs it completely and you almost don't feel it when riding. But let's see what we have on some bigger roughness. Now of course you feel it. The suspension has the certain limits, but you still are able to control the scooter and proceed the moving. Despite it considered as an off-roading transport, I should mention, when you are going on rough terrain, you always should remember that any electric scooter has not very big wheels. Here they are 11 inches. And they are quite small if we compare them to the bicycle, for example. 
so it's always better to pass any large roughness and hammocks. Well guys, now we need to test the thing on an asphalt. The maximum speed according to the official specs is 65 km per hour. Let's try to measure it, taking into account that now we have about 80% of the battery. You may see not very well, but I managed to accelerate up to 54 km per hour, so I think the official specs are mostly correct. By the way, it's reasonable to use only rear-wheel drive on asphalt, cause you don't need all-wheel drive here. Besides, you will save the battery. Also, I should mention the range. It's about 60 km with this battery. We are leaving the good road for the rough terrain. It's just a wild field with hammocks. Let's try it here. As you can see, it's able to move here. But frankly speaking, it's not so enjoyable as riding on a flat horse road. Nevertheless, the suspension and all-wheel drive do a lot of good. And our scooter passed this test. And it's quite tiring to ride here for the long time. So let's move on, my friends. Here we found the section of the forest road with some serious dirt and puddles. And again, I should admit the perfect traction. It's rather simple to handle the scooter even in such conditions. It's due to the aggressive tires, I think. But mostly due to the all-wheel drive. By the way, I tried to move with rear-wheel drive here but I almost fell down and damaged one of the handles. Unfortunately, we didn't film it, but undoubtedly all-wheel drive is a great feature, especially if you are going to ride in such conditions. But I should remind you that such riding on puddles is possible because of the addition of waterproofing, so please do not the same on standard versions. Well, Halton still is showing decent results, but we promised you a real off-roading, didn't we? Let's try to find it. Look, what a beautiful brook. I think you know what I mean. Why do we need to ride this scooter and brook, you may ask? Well, we promised to do a real off-roading, so we are trying to do our best. Frankly speaking, I have to help the scooter here. The brook is rather swampy, and the wheels are too small for such conditions. But anyway, I think it performs rather efficiently here for an electric scooter. Now we reach the real forest swamp, and I can't see any reasons that keep us from trying our scooter here. As you can see, Halton can go even here. It goes as far as possible, of course. And there were some holes underwater, and the scooter got stuck there. So I think here it is the limit of off-roading capabilities of this scooter. After all, to my mind, it's amazing results for an electric scooter. But if it had bigger wheels, it would have shown even more astonishing results. It would be a real 2x2 electric motorcycle, and I would test it with a great enthusiasm. I hope soon we will see something like that. Meantime, we come back to the ground. I should say it really proved to be rather capable on off-roading, but frankly speaking, such scooters are cut out for good earth roads and asphalt. Anyway, we tried to show you all that these devices can do on a rough terrain. I hope you find it useful. Thanks for watching, guys. Please consider subscribing the channel if you like this video. And see you in the comments. Stay with us. It will be many more interesting materials here. Goodbye.